Buy and sell transactions. So in this video, I'm going to take you through one transaction that has buy and a sell inside the invoice. So we go to our invoice module, and then up on the toolbar, we click on new. And we're going to be dealing with some high um, amounts of currency, so we're going to actually put a customer in this one. So let's put in, let's say Craig came in, and we'll click Craig from our list. And so he's come in and he wants to sell us, so we're going to buy from him some uh, Australian dollars. So we click on our Australian quick quick link on the side, and we're buying 3000 So we can just click on Add Row, and you'll see that that's come down below, 3000 and what it is in our local currency that we would then owe him for that. But we're not finished with this transaction. He also uh, wants to sell us some euros. So we're going to buy some euros from him as well. Um, let's put in 600 euros. And then we need to click on add row again one more time. So now he is owed $3,223.07 in our local currency of US dollars. But he happens to be going traveling to England. So he actually wants to be paid that in British pounds. So this is how we do that. So we're now going to sell to him. British pounds, so let's click on our quick flag link for British pounds. And we want to work out how much that would actually be in British pounds. So all we simply do is go to the calculate payoff button, and you'll see that that amounts to 1,982 pounds and 10 pence. So great, that's what we're going to pay him out for um, this transaction, but we don't carry coins. Uh, carry coins in this currency. So we're actually going to have to make this a different amount. So let's make it uh, 1980. We click on tab and add row. You'll see that in this screen we have the balance before in GBP and afterwards in our accounts and we have the amount so that's fine. So we can go ahead with this transaction. And now we see the added line of the British pounds has now made the um, end balance just not quite right so we actually still need three dollars and forty cents um, given back to the customer for this but this will be in local currency so we can just finish this transaction off by simply clicking add row and it shows that we've paid out the difference we've paid out the change of three dollars and forty one cents we've got the balanced amounts in the corner here and we've got the check mark so let's click save and let's just preview this invoice before we print it and you'll see that we've got everything in here. So we bought from the customer 3,000 Australian dollars. We bought 600 euros. We then sold um, 1,980 pounds, which then meant we need to um, make up the difference with $3.41 in our local currency. So then we paid that final amount out. So you've got all your currencies here, all the line items, and then you can print from there. And then we're going to close this. So, just to recap, in this video, we bought two different currencies from a customer, we paid them out in another different currency, and then we gave them the change in our local currency. All on one invoice, one transaction.